Good happy Wednesday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First step, Elliot Hospital host celebration for breast cancer survivors. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. And your family can, too. We want a juice box. The 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander with standard third-row seating. One of America's safest crossovers. This month at Loving Mitsubishi leased the 2017 seven-passenger Outlander, a 2017 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus for only $2.69 a month. Loving Mitsubishi. Cars you love from people you trust. Right. Well, October marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And tonight, the Elliott Hospital offering support for survivors and their families. For the past eight years, they've celebrated all the successes at the annual Breast Cancer Survivors Night. It's a time to share dinner and to honor all the survivors and their families who fought the fight and won. It's a celebration of life, and we wanted to sort of bring in a panel of very different women who have very different experiences to um, sort of echo the experience of the room that these women are not just survivors, they're thrivers, they are living the life despite a potentially terribly terrible journey that they went through. And people in attendance got the chance to hear all those stories from all the survivors. Congrats to all. And continued help. Okay, and there you go on that report. What a great story and a great event. Very cool indeed. Boston Celtics star Gordon Hayward suffers gruesome left ankle injury. Let's take a listen to this video from WCBB Boston. when others head home. At Eversource, we prepare for ugly weather all year long. Upgrading technology, managing vegetation, improving how we get information to you. Because we know you're counting on us. That's why we're ready. And we want to make sure you're ready too. Visit Eversource.com to learn more and sign up for storm updates. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Ever New England. Eversource. start to the season for the Celtics. Gordon Hayward is out after playing just five minutes in a Celtics uniform. I'm Maria Stefanos. And I'm Ed Harding. It was a gruesome injury that shook players and fans in Cleveland. Lynchy is here right now with what we're hearing about the injury tonight. Lynchy? All right, Ed, here's the deal. We were originally told that Gordon Hayward had a fractured left ankle, but Brad Stevens just said moments ago the ankle was dislocated and there's a fracture of the tibia or the shin bone. He heard it while landing after an alley-oop exactly five minutes and 15 seconds into the first quarter. The video shows his left foot at almost a 90-degree angle. He is going to be med-flighted back to Boston, taken to New England Baptist Hospital for treatment tomorrow. Okay, and there you go on that report. We wish him a lot of wishes for his recovery on his ankle and things. Rescued celebrity named Seal Pups set free on beach. Two celebrity named Harbor Seals rescued in Maine earlier this year have been rehabilitated and set free on a Massachusetts beach. Gilsa Bracha and Salado DiCaprio were released Tuesday on Sunset Beach on Cape Cod by workers at 
the non at the National Maine Marine Life Center. Video show the seals make their way toward the water after being set free from their cages. GS seal named after a supermodel, Jessiel Barchter, taken to a rehabilitation center on Buzzard Bay after it was found abandoned by its mother on Chitterberg Island in Maine in June. Seal Nato, named after Academy Award winner actor Leo Not DiCaprio, also was rescued in Maine on Great Spruce Head Island in May. The pups were taught to swim and eat fish. Communist Party Congress, what investors are watching during China's big meeting. China's upcoming Communist Party Congress is about politics more than policy, but investors are still trying to read the tea levels anyway. The once every five year meeting begins Wednesday and it's expected to make a further power consultation for President Xi Jinping. But the seven day meeting may also hint about what his administration will do as the world's second largest economy gripples with president concerns from three decades of breakneck growth. Trump told fallen soldiers widow he knew what he signed up for, says Congresswoman. Let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. I'm the only child is a little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Is a little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I have to ask you, are you sure you heard what he said? That the president said you know he knew what he was signing up for? You heard that? Yeah, he said that. You know, it's um, it, uh, to me, that is something that you can say in a conversation. But you shouldn't say that to a grieving widow. And everyone knows when you go to war, you could possibly not come back alive. But you don't remind a grieving widow of that. It's so insensitive. So insensitive. He should not have said that, and, and it's, it's, he shouldn't have said it. It's almost indicative of saying, you know what you signed up for, and that's what you signed up for. You knew that something like this could happen when what the family wants to hear, they want to hear words of encouragement, words of how he fought for his country, what his, what his sacrifice meant to this country. Not you know what you signed up for. Do you think the conversation included any of that? I, 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 I didn't hear. Okay, and there you go on that video. A Florida congresswoman says she's relieving from intensive remarks President Donald Trump made Tuesday to the widower of a U.S. soldier who killed earlier this month in Negro when he was 
ambushed by militants believed to be linked to ISIS. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.